Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video I'm going to cover a very important topic. I'm going to show you 12 ways of making the Martingale method 100% safe. Many traders are petrified of the Martingale method and they've got good reason to be. If you don't know how to trade it, you will blow your account very quickly, but I'm going to show you the 100% safe method. Okay, so what is the Martingale method all about? Basically, it is a betting method that gamblers use when they go to casino. What they would do is if they lose a bet, all they do is double up on their next bet because that the gains from the next bet will pay for their loss and still make a profit. Let's have a look at this a little bit closer. So for instance, a guy would go to the casino, he would put a $1 bet on the roulette table for black, for instance, and if he's successful, he would make $1, uh, and if he loses, his risk is $1. So let's say the, the result is negative, so what he then does, he says, okay, well, I'm going to double up now. I, and if I'm successful, I'm going to make $1. Why $1? Because I'm going to make $2.00 on the actual bet but I'm going to repay the one dollar loss that I'm in the first bet so that is why I will make one dollar but in total as before the spin happens there are he is risking three dollars now let's say that bet goes bad what he then says oh I've made a loss of three dollars I need to now double up on that two dollar initial bet of four i'll make it four dollars if his four dollar bet is successful he still has to pay the three dollars that he's lost and he will then be left with one dollar his total risk now however is the three dollars that he's lost plus the bet that he has now which is seven dollars and that's how it carries on and carries on and as you can see the numbers can become like telephone numbers and it becomes as i say here uh, clearly risking sixty five thousand dollars to make one dollar becomes totally ridiculous ridiculous and most users of martingale hope that they'll never get past let's say the the, the fifth or the sixth bet to have so many losers in a row but luck will have it one day you'll have a lot of losers in a row so that's the martingale concept all right so now let's apply this concept to forex trading and there's two ways you can apply it first you can do it on a trade by trade basis so let's say you start trading uh, you tr put a trade on uh, you lose that trade and let's say you've lost fifty dollars in that particular trade what you would then do is you put another trade on with a stop loss of a hundred dollars you're risking double the amount that you lost before and let's say you're working on a one-to-one -one risk return ratio if that one is successful you will pay for the loss that you made previously and you would make a nice uh, profit on the second trade but if not successful, we get into the numbers that I've just shown you. So that's the one way is to do a one by one trade. You basically base it on your last trade and you trade that way. The other way is to use top ups. Now a top up means that you enter a trade. If it doesn't go successful and it moves away from your entry by a certain number of pips it will then open a new trade in the same direction so you're topping up on your original trade and the same applies if you're using martingale you'll you'll use double the lots for that one and then the next one will also be double that one's lots and so on so that's how it will apply to forex trading so as it says here the process will continue using the martingale sequence until one of the uh, trades is successful or you just run out of money your account has negative e equity so the martingale uh, the martingale system is actually not a great system for forex trading but the problem is that forex traders regard any top up 
of a, a negative deal as Martingale. And in fact, you can get extremely creative in terms of the way you structure your topper process. It needn't be Martingale. You don't need to double up every time and that type of thing. So traders just have a blank there. They say, oh, no, you're topping up. So therefore, this is Martingale. They lose out on a huge opportunity. And that is why I'm making this video is because of the lack of knowledge on how to d top up properly and efficiently and adapt the martingale pr process to a, be a profitable one. So let's have a look at that. Now firstly I'm going to show you an example of a portfolio that I'm running at the moment. It's been running only for about 40 days. Uh, it's made a 20% return. Uh, it, it's running on about 23 accounts and here are the results. The closed profits are almost 40,000 and the floating profits about 17 to 18,000. So, so nice, nice profitability. That's where, where that comes from. And uh, you can see the currencies that were traded. And we'll come back to these currencies because they are actually the important aspect of this, uh, the success of this portfolio. And then if we look at one of the accounts in the portfolio, and here uh, it's the Lucky M six account which uh, means i'm trading the lucky ea for this particular one it's made a nice good profit there um small uh, uh, loss at the moment and we'll have a look at why that loss is so small and it's made a nice return it's trading the oz new zealand and it has traded for 39 days so let's have a look at those open trades now the open trades as we see is are based on the real full martingale process so it's I'll be starting there with 0.3 lots as the first lot then 0.6 lots then it doubles up to 1.2 lots and then doubles up to 2.4 lots in the meantime another leg those are the buy that's the buy leg another leg has been established also using that particular sequence uh, but that is a sell so this particular ea has a hedging function in in it in that it buys and sells on both legs and they, they, therefore uh, it trades those legs as independence legs. And you can see the one trade here, the, the big one there is nicely positive and should cancel out the losses pretty soon. And then if we look at the portfolio that's being traded, you can see that the euro pound is the most successful currency and that the Oz yen is the second most uh, uh, successful currency and we'll look at that a little bit closer why that is so now this portfolio consists of a number of, of eas and as you can see there these one these ones are the profit retriever eas so that, that's uh, uh, that's the numbering there then we have a couple of lucky traders the most of them are lucky traders then we have the rsi liberator ea and then the wave liberator yeah and you can see uh, all of them are, are positive they've po got positive equity positive equity there positive equity there positive equity there and there's i think it's only uh, there's two that are currently negative uh, equity but the gains from the other accounts outweigh that negative equity v uh, very quickly so that's basically the portfolio that we're looking at and I'm going to go into this some of these accounts in a little bit more detail to explain the 12 ways in which you can make martingale trading very very safe. So here they are here's the list of 12 ways this is a checklist and uh, if you follow this checklist your martingale trading will be quite safe. Firstly use sideways non-trending low volatility currencies in other words you want a currency that doesn't move much because it, this is a sideways currency technique it, you just want to catch those ups and downs ups and downs you don't want to get one that has a breakout and breakout and like that you don't want that kind of currency so the question is how do you find these currencies now Quite a long time ago, I created a, an indicator, and let's go and have a look at that indicator. This indicator is called the Trend Analyzer. It's a gift, so it's free. And what it does, it looks at the trends of each particular currency. It looks at the average buy trend, the average sell trend, the average combined trend, and then it looks at the longest trend because that's where the risk lies you you need to be able to handle the longest trend that there is so it's there then it's so 
sorts the currencies in order of of the longest trend and you can, in fact you can sort the currencies any way you want this particular one has been sorted that way and it shows that the pound yen is has the most incredibly high trends at 360 330 350 and then the longest trend is 1958 uh, pips huge trends and then you look at the other side the the the, sh the shortest trends the euro pound the uh, is, uh, is 62 68 65 and the worst trend it's had is 217. Now that explains firstly the currencies that were selected for this portfolio. We don't go yeah, we don't go to these dangerous currencies. You only trade the ones that have got very little volatility and very little trendiness. So that's the, the number one item for trading the Martin Gale principle and one of the things that i would say is just stick stick to the euro pound it's by far the best currency as we've seen and uh, the pound new zealand the aussie new zealand is also nicely correlated and and does not have these big trends the other tip i can give you is to stay away from us uh, crosses and yen crosses they are the ones that can create huge trends okay that covers point one and i'm not going to cover the rest in a lot of detail uh, but because number one is in fact the most important one use very low starting lot sizing so when you first start using it use the smallest one which is 0.01 and that's what you do you use the smallest smallest possible lot sizing there's also opportunity to skip the first one so what what would happen is let's say you lose the first trade uh, and you top up you you uh, you uh, when 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 it says skip the f top up it actually means stay at the same position p position size so if your position size was 0 0.01 the next one would be 0 0.01 and if that's successful basically the two will then break even so it basically gives you a slight delay in the in the front so that the increase in lot sizing is slowed down. Uh, you can lower the multipliers and instead of doubling the lot sizing, you can use lower ones and I'll show you that. You can use the safe gap size. And again, that tool that I showed you earlier, I'm gonna quickly go back to that one. That gives us a good guideline on what kind of gap sizing we need. So here we're back at the tool here. And in general, what we're looking at is gap sizing of about 10% of the longest trend. So if the longest trend was 217 in this case, you would go 10%, which is 21 pips. So that's that's a, a very good rule of thumb type of guideline there. And we and the same would apply for these highly volatile currencies. So 10% of for the pound yen would be 190 pips. So those are what we call gap sizing. Now, what is a gap? It's the distance between the first transaction you enter and the second transaction you enter. That's the gap. And uh, that's how you would get a good rough idea of what kind of gap sizing you need. And then the other method is to increase the gap sizing. So let's say you've started with 20, 20 pip gaps. You can increase that as much as you want. You can double them or you can go up by 50% or you can increase it by 20 pips every time you go up. So increasing that gap level delays this multiplication process that happens that gets you into so much trouble. The bigger the gaps, the slower you are opening trades and, and that delays and gives your area of trading so much makes your area of trading so much bigger use longer term for uh, longer term time frames now this applies to if your original entry method is based on an indicator the uh, signals pro provided by longer term time frames are more secure if you're using indicators so so bear that one in mind use big accounts so you'll see that in that portfolio that i showed you the accounts were all ten thousand dollars and we were using 0.3 of a lot now that actually means you can use 0.03 of a lot for a thousand dollar account but in general you need a big account compared to the lot sizing that you're using and i've got an example of that too use high leverage obviously leverage plays a role yeah go for the 
absolutely highest leverage. I would say the minimum that you could use for this kind of trading is 100 to 1, which is slightly risky, but you can use it. Uh, ideally, you want to go to 1,000 to 1 leverage. The higher you can go, the better, because you don't want to be restricted by margin. Use a pruding approach. One, that's one of the approaches that we've built into our robots. What, what it basically does, if you start opening a lot of trades, you've, let's say you've got six or seven trades, and what it will then do is when the, the, the seventh one, the, the, the latest one, goes positive, it will cash that positive in, but then it will take that amount and reduce the first trade that you've entered so what you do what happens is effectively it reduces two trades out of the system so where you had for instance seven open trades you would now have only five open trades so that's a one way what as it says we prune the open trades to make the whole thing safer then hedging and you've seen the lucky trader has a built-in hedging hedging basically means trade buys and sells separately so in other words if you see a buy a buy signal enter it and start trading it if you see a sell signal enter it and start trading it so you're actually trading both at the same time and it's not true hedging the one's not hedging against the other they're just trading the same system at the same time in different directions and the effect is to hedge and then use large uh, basket targets now a basket is is when you have more than one open trade in any direction so let's say you've got two open trades in a sell direction that those two become a basket of trades and that they get closed on a specific target that applies to both of them not 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 as an individual so th all these methods what they do is they reduce your risk of failure when trading martingale systems so let's look at this in, in a little bit more detail now here's an example that the profit tree bears and I'm, i've got an idea the other ones have it too where you can set your initial trade and then you can say only start increasing this later on so you could put a two in there and it will trade 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 and then only later on will it increase by the rate that you put so that's the one point i mentioned on that list is delay the increasing of your lot sizing now here's an example of uh, the lucky trader that one of the accounts in that portfolio that you've just seen and here you can see the existing thing, uh, settings and this account is the account that you that was shown earlier and that is doing reasonably well and these are the settings that it currently has now i could leave the settings as they want but if i wanted to be safer the first thing i would do is increase the gap size so instead of starting with 10 pips i would increase it to 20 pips so immediately it's fewer open trades secondly it will handle a trend a lot better and that way the risk is reduced to is basically half there so now on the gap on the gap size you can increase the gap so basically and here, here's an example of the start level. It says after you've registered one gap size, you increase the next one by 200%. So in other words, that 10, that 10 will become 20 and the 20 would become 40 and the 40. And that um, now we're talking about gap size, not about lot sizing, but gap sizing. So the, the wider the gaps, the fewer the transactions and th therefore the, tra the effect of a breakaway trend is reduced. Now again here you can increase that percentage to let's say 250% so the gap sizing actually increases more, you reduce your risk. Reducing risk also means you're going to reduce your income. Okay so now initial lots, here we've got 0.3 as our initial lots. Now I would make that... 0.03 so that's reducing it by 10 percent so that would be a great way to reduce risk but the 0.03 will catch up to the 0.3 very quickly because of the multiply effect but certainly if you're starting low like 0.03 or even 0.01 your risk of a runaway trend causing trouble to your account is reduced tremendously and and then the next one is the actual multiply of your lot so that's where martingale actually comes in it's basically say it's saying by how much must i increase the lots for every trade and and if it's two then it means that the 0.3 will become 0.6 and the 0.6 will become 1.2 and the 1.2 will become 2.4 so that is the multiplier 
In fact, the other thing you can do to uh, reduce risk is to slow that down. So say, uh, instead of using 2, you could say 0.15 or 0.12 and reduce the lot sizing e effect. Then the next one is what kind of profit do you want to have for your first trade? And uh, in this case, I've got 10 there and this is in pips. So I don't need to change it because pips are the same uh, with the, uh, because in this particular strategy. So you just keep the, uh, the 10 the same. But then the next, next one and uh, the, the reason why it was hedging is because I selected trade both buy and sell trades um, and and that that you you should actually just keep it constant because the hedging does help with the martingale process if both legs are using martingale there's a there's a hedging impact okay so now let's look at the the closure of the baskets now remember the baskets are if you've got more than one if you've got two items open it will close those open items at a particular dollar amount. So in this case, it was uh, $120. Because I've reduced the lot sizing, I've reduced that right down to $15 because that is the proportional target that there would be. And therefore, as I've said, if you do go very conservative, your income will reduce, but your risk will reduce tremendously. And that's what I'm talking about, ways of reducing your risk and making Martingale 100% safe. And then we have another item here where the, the, the pruning, which I've already mentioned, uh, this one says start pruning at, uh, when there are four open trades in a single direction. And uh, yeah, I'm saying start pruning a little bit earlier. The earlier you prune, the, the less likely it will start running out of, uh, out of control. So here's an example of how to take the Martingale process and make it safer with a whole lot of settings or strategies that you can use to reduce risk. I must just mention that the trend analyzer is a free tool that you can download. Here is the video that has the link for that particular download. You go and have a look at the video and, and this is one of the best tools for avoiding runaway currencies. The other thing, as you might know, is that we have a linked account service uh, where you can link your account to that of a successful uh, lead traded account and here are s is an extract from that service and you can see the accounts have a very really long age uh, there you can see the actual accounts that they are the profit retriever the the uh, wave liberator the hedge the uh, hedge we didn't mention the rsl the rsi liberator and so on so all of those as you can see have a proven track record using these reduced martingale strategies and here you can see the returns ha have been absolutely phenomenal on these accounts so these are proven strategies it's not something that is academic that i'm showing you now this has been developed over a number of years of how to control martingale trading now just a reminder we still have an 80 percent off bundle for the hedged the liberty uh, the rsi liberty trader the wave liberty trader and the profit retriever uh, that's a fantastic special that is still going make sure you don't miss out on it we've also recently just launched in fact this week a bell trader which uses exactly the same process it's called the profit retrieval process and the bell trader and the lucky trader we've put into a bundle that can be bought together. So there's another opportunity to in, enjoy 60% or 65% discounts on the trading robots. All of these use the modified Martingale process. Now just in, clo in closing, I just want to warn you about greed because the whole, you saw me take the aggressive Martingale settings and reduce them to safer settings and very few traders do that they like the aggressive ones they want to make their money fast and so on. so what you've got to do is you've got to get a balance between your greed and how you want to do your settings do you want to do them aggressively do they want them conservatively or do you want to do something in between but be ready for the worst 
thing that can happen in the market and that is why you're always better trading the most conservative way uh, especially on strategies such as the Martingale strategy. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope I made it clear that Martingale is dangerous strategy, but it can be adapted and be and it can be made a lot safer by the use of those twelve ways that I mentioned in the video. And additionally, we have proven track records of accounts that have used those adapted settings. Also a reminder, make sure that you take advantage of those bundle offers that are still available. Uh, and, some, and from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.